Hey guys, welcome back to the Bros Films channel. I hope you all enjoyed my last video. I know it was a little bit long, but I I just want to do a really tactical breakdown for you guys. Just to show the full dog fight, because some of you guys want to see the full dog fight. And some of you guys actually like longer videos, so I decided to do that for you guys. I was going to split it up into parts, but I felt like it would have been better just as one video. It would have been just easier just to watch all the way through and stuff. But anyways... How perfect timing did the Wings of Duty update came out? Today's Thursday, so I do reviews on Thursdays, and the new Wings of Duty update came out today on Thursdays, so that's pretty lucky of me, so I'll be able to do a review on it. So let me go ahead and tell you guys what they did. And they actually added some pretty cool stuff, which is pretty nice. So first of all, they added a bad language filter and monitor for all game chats and call signs, so it's basically just a filter uh, for bad words and stuff that you don't want to see. They also corrected the leaderboard, not showing player rank correctly. So if you're on the leaderboards, you'll be able to see your rank, and you'll be able to see other people's ranks now. Uh, they fixed the respawn on the map, so that if you respawn using the map, it won't freeze your game. And they added more armor for the bombers, which is what I'm comparing right now. I'm looking at all the bombers, and their armor definitely went up, and you can definitely feel it. It's really cool how they did this. This is something I wanted for a while, and I'm actually quite excited for this. So now the Hudson actually has a purpose. Before the SBD would seem like a good fit because you can dogfight with it in a way, whereas the Hudson you're a sitting duck. But the Hudson can take a lot of hits now, so it'll help you get to the target a lot easier. Now let's talk about some more stuff they added. So they also added improved voice chat, which I haven't really played around with. I'll probably do that at the stream, so we'll test that out there. And then some other small bug fixes, which are unknown. But it's basically just improving the general quality of the game. So right now I'm kind of comparing the B26 and the HU111 and I did some pretty precise measurements. I brought out my ruler and they're both three centim they're both three millimeters from the end of that bar so I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure I got this right guys, that they have the same armor. So if you want to know which one's stronger than the other, they both have the same armor. Now if you're going to choose one over the other, well first of all it depends on what theater, but if you're playing in arcade mode it's up to you to decide. The B-26 has more guns, but it does not have as heavy as the payload, whereas the HE-111 can carry a stronger payload for mainly just for anti-ships, but the B-26 does carry a lot of bombs. So if you like bombs over torpedoes, go with the B-26. If you like torpedoes over bombs, go with the HE-111. Or if you just want a better chance of getting to the target, go with the B-26. So yeah, let's get straight into this video. I got some pretty awesome B-26 gameplay for you guys, which I hope you all enjoy. And it definitely shows off how strong this armor is. Prepare to watch the strongest bomber in the game with the strongest armor. So we're going to go ahead and get started here, just right off the spawn. And I noticed that these guys probably weren't going to get on me. Even if they did, they wouldn't be able to keep up with the B-26's speed. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn on them here and just take them out by myself. And the B-26, it's a really heavy plane, so it's definitely going to be tough to turn. You are basically a sitting duck in it, but with so many guns, guys, you, you really don't have much to worry about. So right now I got the AI gunner on the cloud over there, and they can actually hit the target, which is pretty awesome, but I figured I might as well just use my 50 cals here. I actually have gotten some AI kills, which is pretty awesome too. I remember some of my first kills in realistic mode for Wings of Duty was in the SPD Dauntless. Uh, the AI gunners did most of that. It was it was pretty awesome. So yeah, we got we went ahead and got that Claude right there, knocked him right out. He's doing that pretty epic spin. I just love it when they don't just blow up instantly like that. It may make it, they make it really cool. Now this Kate is on us, and he's probably not going to be able to do much. However, he ends up hitting us, but our armor is so strong those rounds bounce. The 30 cows got nothing on us. It's not even 30 guys. It's a 7.7 .7 millimeter. So yeah guys, we are easily going to be able to survive that for sure. You picked the wrong update to go ahead on head with the B-26. More bandits, not a problem. So we're gonna go ahead and get hit here a little bit. Some of them penetrated, but guys, only 2%. What, what a petty amount, guys. We're definitely gonna be able to make it to the target and able to eliminate the zero. I mean, guys, this thing is really good. I can't wait till they add co-op with this stuff so that real players can hop into these types of bombers and just wreck everything. 
these things will really just become OP. Like, I, I'm telling you. It's going to be like War Thunder where you just can't kill them. So this Zero spawned back. He's back on me. I'm not too worried. We're getting hit a little bit. Little penetrations at a time. Not too bad. 20 millimeters got nothing on me. So we're going to be able to drop a little bit. I was a little bit distracted by the Zero, but we'll still be able to drop some of the payload and then hop on the back gun and hopefully finish the Zero off. I'm missing a lot, but we're still in the fight, guys. I mean, I would have been dead by now. However, and then this glitch starts happening. It's either my ping or his ping or something. But it gets really bad. I mean, I just can't see him anymore. So, to the point where he's invisible, but I'm still getting shot. And I don't know what to really do about this, so I'm just going to let myself get shot. And then attempt an emergency landing, which, yeah, yeah it's not really going to work. I lost everything. I have no control of the bomber. Uh, I, I kind of wish that they'd make the physics to where the bomber would roll if this happens instead of just fly straight like that, because that's a little bit unrealistic, but I think it'd be cool if they added some kind of roll or something to make it, to make it you go down, because technically you should be going down right now. But oh well, maybe that's something we'll see in the future, at least hopefully. So we're just going to go ahead and crash right here. Honestly, I could have just flown a straight line forever, but where's the fun in that? Again, man, wrong update. I've never felt so safe lining up for the shot when the Kogi's on me. Usually I just hop in the guns, forget dropping the payload, and take them out before bombing, but this time, guys, yeah, I'm just going straight for it. We're coming in for a second run now. We're going to go ahead and get hit a little bit here. Just a little bit of a minor scratch, no big deal. It's not minor, it's not major. It's, it's just a little, it is a scratch, I mean, no big deal. We're going to go ahead and take this clod out. The 7.7 millimeters, they don't tear you up anymore, to be honest. I mean, they will rip you apart, but you can't just instantly get blown up now, which I love. I haven't really fought the Hind yet or a Falker Wolf, so we'll see how that works out. But as far as I can tell, I've been surviving a lot more easily. And you can just see the bullets just fly right underneath the scope. And I'm not even flinching, guys. I mean, this plane's taking it like a boss, and that's how this plane should be doing it. And you can do this in the HE-111 too. It's just the B-26, guys. I mean, I just... For some reason, I just feel like it's going to end up being more durable. So we're going to have this zero pop out of nowhere, and it's going to hit us up a little bit. But we're still in the fight. I'm actually slowing down so these guys will get a little bit closer. Even though you're technically safer when you're farther away, because it's a lot easier to shoot them when you're stationary. Just flying straight where they can't really hit you. But we're going to go ahead and get him here. So I'm waiting until he gets in range. I use my rudder a little bit just to help get him centered. And then he's going to go ahead and fly right in the dead zone and get blown into smithereens right there. And we're going to watch some bullets hit the glass and rotate okay, because this is bulletproof glass now. So now we're going to have that clod all the way back there. I'm going to take some sniper shots and luckily land them all. He's not going to be able to hit us because there's no way to hit from that range. I mean, you could, but it's, it's really hard, even when it's a bomber. So he's gone, and now we're going to finish the mission. We're making the third pass. We're going to get hit just a little bit, but we're still in the fight. We're going to drop the remaining bombs on this carrier right here. You can see that clod fly run underneath us. But we're definitely okay. We're only at 64%. No, okay, 50. Okay, it's just going down, guys. No need to count. I kind of wish they'd add the new damage models of the B26 when they can, or if they. I don't know if they will. I heard they wouldn't, but it'd be really nice to see it happen. Or maybe to a B17 if they add that. Because, guys, bombers with the new damage model would be so sick. And especially with co op and everything. It'd be awesome if you could, like, kill crew members and stuff, shoot them out. It'd just be even better. So, right now. We're flying, this guy's flagging out again, I'm getting a little worried because we're getting shot out of nowhere. So I, I, I really, I'm really just a sitting duck right now, so I'm just going to head, hit for the beach this time, and this time we're going to become stranded. He's visible now, so we're going to be able to take him out the second we try landing. I trust the AI gunner, I believe he, he has skills enough to land some of their shots. Which maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. But that zero is getting really close, we can see the bullets going all around us. We're going to get hit a little bit maybe. He's actually missing a lot. I was actually really surprised with how much he missed. But he did hit us to the point where it's probably a smart idea to land. We got B-17 Flying Fortress here. He's going to go ahead and help me out. But you guys just, uh, you guys know what's going to happen. Every time you land on a beach like this when there's a zero above you. I mean, it's it's pretty obvious. I'll, I'll let the footage roll for this.
be honest with you. This is one of the most epic bonsais I've ever seen. Like, he even dropped the bombs. He was going full out. Like, the dedication in that pilot was just amazing. Like, <laughs> that was just really epic, guys. Tell me your best bonsai moments in the comments below. This was, I'd love to hear. This is, this is just insanely awesome. It's just what this video needed. People have been commenting, Gabe, where's the bonsais? What's going on? Here it is, guys. Here's your perfect example. This is just awesome. So with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video here for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget, t-shirts are still on pre-order for the next two weeks. So go check them out if you haven't. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Gene from the Bros Films channel, signing off.